Well, good evening, good evening, Keep Pounding Nation. What's going on? Welcome to another Carolina Panthers Talk video brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the View to the Tube. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ, Jason Ingram. So, wanted to get on here and just talk a little bit about yesterday's preseason game between the Carolina Panthers and the New England Patriots that resort, resulted in a 17-3 loss. Now, of course, this game took place, this was in um, Foxborough. And just wanted to kind of give my thoughts on what went down with this game. So let's kind of let's 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 take a look at some things. So first thing I want to start off with the want to start off with the positives. There were a few positives. Uh, number one, the defense, Carolina Panthers defense. You know what? They did pretty good. This bend but don't break defense did pretty good. Uh, we were able to get two sacks on the uh, the New England offense. One sack went to T.J. Smith. The other to Derek McClendon. Alex Cook was the leading tackler with uh, him and him and Clayton Isbell actually both with six total tackles. Uh, let's see. Iku Iku Leota. I felt like Iku Leota played pretty well. Had two tackles. Two of his tackles were uh, tackles for loss. Um, also felt like he did pretty good in special teams as well. Um, a lot of people are saying that Iku Leota could be the second coming of. Frankie Louvu. It's possible. It's possible. I've definitely been liking what I've seen from him. Uh, Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson had a pretty decent showing. Um, Deshaun Jameson definitely was very involved. Uh, two passes deflected, four tackles. He was definitely very involved. But, <coughs> pardon me, it was really good to see the defense really get going. Uh, they gave up a touchdown in the second quarter and a touchdown and field goal in the fourth quarter. First and third quarter were scoreless. But, like I said, Carolina defense is known for being a bend but don't break. But at the same time, they were out on the field way too much, which ha which has been one of their major major problems, even what last season. You know, offense not being able to get points, and the defense having to be out on the field so much. Um. Another positive, Jake Lutton. Jake Lutton comes out, which, number one, it really shouldn't have taken that long for them to finally put him in the game. I was thinking that they should have put him in to start second half. I mean, Jack Plummer played three quarters. I mean, those were the only two activated quarterbacks, so I really thought they would have just split the halves between the two, but... I'm not the one that's coaching. But Jake Lutton strung together a really nice drive, which led to the Carolina Panthers' only points of the game. 7 and 9, 38 yards, and the, the, the two incompletes really weren't his fault. The receiver slipped 
on the almost interception. And the, the second one, uh, Smith Marset could reel in the catch. Got his hands on it, but ended up dropping it. So if you ask me, I think Jake Lutton had a good series, had a good drive. Um, I know it was within the last two minutes of the game, but I thought he, I thought he looked good. I thought he looked good. Um, as far as offense, I mean, Mike Boone, Jaden Sheridan. Ran pretty decently. I mean, eight carries, 34 yards for Boone. Four carries, 12 yards for Sheridan. That was pretty much it between those two. Top receivers were pretty much Amir Smith-Marset with, with four catches, 24 yards. And Jordan Matthews, three catches, 48 yards. Now, oh, and no turnovers. There were actually no turnovers. So I was actually, I was actually happy to see no turnovers. That's, that's a positive. Okay. Now, let's keep it real. There were a lot more negatives than positives with this game. So, first off, I got to point it out, the O-line. I'm a little concerned about the depth at O-line for the Carolina Panthers. I mean, just in this first preseason game, gave up five sacks. Jack Plummer sacked five times. You know, that's, that's not good. That's not good. And it just really makes me wonder, with the struggling depth at O-line, how much pressure does that really put on new acquisitions, Damian Lewis and Robert Hunt? Because remember, we paid a lot of money for those two offensive linemen. So if either of them go down... I don't feel great about our depth. I know this is only first preseason game, but that was a pretty, pretty bad showing of the depth at O-line. So hopefully, hopefully that'll get addressed. Hopefully that'll get addressed because the O-line depth right now is not looking too good. Uh, Jack Plummer, 11 of 21, 86 yards. Didn't really have a good game. But like I said, I really felt like uh, not only should, should Jake Lutton have gotten more reps, but is Coach Canales regretting not letting Bryce play a series or two? I don't know. I think it would have been nice to see Bryce play one to possibly two series. But that's just me. But I don't know, y'all. I just, this O-line depth is sus. Is really, really sus. Also, another big issue that reeled its ugly head Penalties. Penalties, penalties, penalties. We had nine. Nine penalties for 61 yards. That's not good. That's not good. Nine penalties, 61 yards, that's not good. Got to be better disciplined. Got to be better disciplined. Um. First downs. Oof, more offensive woes. Only seven total first downs in this game. New England had 16. 16. 
Five of them were passing touchdowns, two rushing, and no first downs from penalties. Y'all, that's sad. Only seven first downs in this whole game. Total plays, 52. Total yards, 151. And we had the same number of drives as New England at 12. Same number of drives. And we couldn't even get in the red zone. Not even once. Not even once. Also, third down. We were 2 of 14 on third down. Another big issue Carolina offense has had actually for a number of years. We suck on third down conversions. The efficiency on third down is trash. And honestly, that needs to start changing this season. That seriously needs to start changing. Yeah, that needs to seriously start changing. And like I said, there were no turnovers, so at least at least we didn't turn the ball over. I mean, one interception almost happened, but thankfully the guy dropped the ball. But time of possession, at one point, time of possession, Carolina was like at 18 minutes, and New England was like at 24. But now total time of possession, Carolina was 28 minutes, 3 seconds. New England, 31 minutes, 57 seconds. But yeah, Carolina's got a lot of work to do. They got a lot of work to do, especially on offense. But what kind of bothers me a little bit, what bothers me a little bit, now Dave Canales, he was the play caller. He's supposed to be an offensive guy. And look how badly the offense struggled. I mean, is now the time to be concerned or panic? Well, now's not the time to panic. But it does make me wonder a little bit, y'all. Makes me wonder just a little bit. Just a little bit. But yeah. Yeah. They got the Jets next week. Hopefully, they fix some things. I'm very curious to see how well Dave Canellis makes adjustments. But it's like I said to um, some of my friends, the Carolina Panthers' depth is going to be challenged, like in a big way, this season. They're going to be challenged. They are going to be challenged. So, we'll see what happens. But like I said, you know, kudos to the defense. I felt like they they played pretty well overall. Um, bend but don't break. I know they eventually uh, did allow some points. But Carolina offense, there's a lot to work on. I mean, we finally didn't get points until under two minutes in the fourth quarter. That's that's not going to cut it. That's not going to cut it. So, a lot to work on, but like I said, this was the first preseason game. You know, it's good. Sometimes it can be a blessing in disguise that these things happen. The earlier that they happen, the, the earlier that they get fixed. At least that's what the hope is. So, we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll definitely see what happens, but that's really all I got. I mean, I'm not going to be too overly critical. This was the first preseason game. Um, although, 
you know, the first preseason game last season. We got shut out 27 to zip. But, like I said, new season, new roster. You know, let's see what kind of adjustments they make. That's all I can say. But, that'll do it for this video. Um, keep pounding, no matter what. Uh, don't forget to check out Game Beauty when you get a chance. Happy shopping. And like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell while you're at it. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll see what happens next week. Anyway, for another Carolina Panthers talk, brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube. My name is Jason Ingram. Hope everybody has a blessed weekend. I will see you all in the next video and our live stream. Peace.